I just left Timberline Lodge and guys, Oregon is pretty. It's definitely pretty. <laughs> I'm not going to do very many miles after this. Apparently there is a 16 mile stretch that's dry um, coming up. So I'm going to do my best to not be in the middle of that tonight. So I'm only going to do like two and a half miles out. Also, I don't know enough about Oregon, but that looks like it could be Jefferson. <laughs> but I also have no idea what I'm talking about, so we'll see. Oh, it's so beautiful. I didn't actually realize that um, the Timberline Trail meets up with the PCT, um, but that's kind of cool because I would really like to do the Timberline Trail one day. Uh, which circumnavigates Mount Hood. You know, I also really would like to do the Wonderland Trail that goes around Rainier and the Lewitt Trail that goes around Mount St. Helens, but those are on my to-do list after this one. <laughs> this has been amazing so much. Oh, <laughs> oh we have the same phone case. Yes, no, oh, <laughs> Different phone. phones, but yeah, same uh, phone case. Yeah, um, I really like this one. Last year, up at Raven's Roost, I dropped. Uh -huh. my, I had an S5. Yeah, I dropped it right on its on face in the gravel. Right that's not great. The, right. <laughs> the, <laughs> that's, the hell out of the oh well, that's not great. That's why I got one of these because I was like, I need. Yeah. Excuse to get upgrade my phone anyway. Yeah, but this has been awesome. I, this is the second trail magic I've hit so far in Oregon after hitting very very little in Washington. So thank you. I'm moving northward. So other people will see you soon. Yeah. yeah. This is awesome. So I just took a really, really short side trip over to this thing, Little Crater Lake. That's its actual name. Um, I've never been to the original Crater Lake, um, and I don't know how well this shows up in video, but this water is beautiful. It's like a crazy color of blue. I should be seeing the original Crater Lake, the big one, in like a week, a week and a half. So we'll see how it compares to this one. But this one is pretty good. Oregon so far has had some really, really nice lakes. This is Timothy Lake, right past Little Crater Lake. And it's also a very nice shade of blue. Oh look, there are paddle boarders. That's, I think that's someone paddleboarding with their dog behind them on another paddleboard. That's awesome. This would be a really lovely place to camp. I think there are, there are a lot of, um, I'm presuming, more like single overnight hikers here and day hikers. So it's a little bit more crowded than some other parts of the trail. Whoa. Terrain's changed a little bit. All of a sudden the trail opened up and I guess logging has been done here. Wildflowers are pretty though. Uh, a lot of the trail so far in Oregon has been um, <laughs> the green tunnel as some people call it. So whenever it opens up like this, um, it's kind of nice. The sun's out even though it was raining this morning, and it's supposed to rain these next couple of days, um, and some thunderstorms even. So hopefully I don't get struck by lightning. That would be great if that could not happen to me. So I think this might be the first time I've actually really seen Mount Jefferson. Uh, usually in Washington when you can see Mount Hood, you can see just a really tiny triangle next to Mount Hood, and that's Mount Jefferson. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's exciting. Um, same thing with the sisters. I've been able to, like, very, very, very vaguely see the sisters before from Washington. Just three little lumps. <laughs> and I'm actually going to get to see them. So, that's pretty cool. I'm supposed to get closer to Jefferson later, so hopefully it won't be too cloudy 
and I'll actually get to see it. So the I decided to stop here at the Olali Lake Resort store because um, it's like a tenth of a mile off the trail and decided to get a cold drink and an apple. Um, but the lake itself has a really nice view of um, what I think is Mount Jefferson. And it's weird because the clouds are like doing something crazy right now. There's thunder all over the place. It's actually kind of freaking me out because um, clearly it's not super bright anymore. It's like 5 p.m. now, I think. Um, so I'm going to try to get in a few more miles, but I'm going to camp on low land today, I think. <laughs> Ooh. There it is. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get not struck by lightning today, guys. I am going to make it to tomorrow, but it is supposed to rain, so sleeping with the rain fly on tonight. All right, it's only eight o'clock in the morning, and I think I've passed about nine people today. Um, who told me that there's real magic in about 50 feet from where I am, and I can currently smell breakfast sandwiches. So, <laughs> this will be the third trail magic, I think, in four or five days that I have seen in Oregon. Oh, yep, look at that. Holy crap. It's like a whole thing. Alright! <laughs> I think I've heard from like 10 people this just this morning that this is here. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, I'll just go then. <laughs> this is OG. He's like all over gut hook because he just does this. <laughs> this is amazing. So I'm eating two breakfast sandwiches because I can't. <laughs> Are you? I'm never leaving. <laughs> okay, definitely walked into a cloud and there's snow. So that's different. All right, made it to the top of the big climb for today. And check out that awesome view. Oh, yeah. I can see so much. <laughs> hey look, it's the 2,000 mile marker. <laughs> it's kind of fun. I guess that means that I'm like 650 miles in. That's not too bad. <laughs> this is a big lake youth camp. Hike or hut. And there's like a whole kitchen and a ton of stuff in the hiker box and laundry. Oh, and it's blue. <laughs> he, uh, what happened? What happened to your phone? Nothing. I only left it in a hitch. It's probably traveling to the coast of Oregon right now. So he did lose his phone, so that's why I'm seeing him. Because otherwise, I'm sure I'd never see him again. He pulls like 35s regularly. Um, but yeah, this is the the hut. It's been a really cool place to hang out for a few hours. <laughs> Yesterday, I said I wouldn't come back here in the morning because I, well, because basically you made the great point that I would never leave, but I'm back. <laughs> And I haven't left. I figured I could use... Well, I forgot that we could use a toilet here. So... Yeah, but it's a really great... And it's warm. It's cold outside. It's cold outside. It's real cold outside. And I buried my wet tent here to And then I went in the bathroom and ran warm water over my hands. And it felt amazing. Warm water is great. So, and there's my breakfast. That's good pasta. Like you said... Breakfast of champions. Mm. <laughs> well, now I'm having second breakfast, so Lou was right. I'm never leaving. Mm. <laughs> <That's right. laughs>